welcome to your video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to edit an animated intro without Blender. If you don't already know how to make an animated intro without Blender, um, go check out my last tutorial. The link is in the description. So I basically just showed you how to make an animated intro without Blender using Roblox Studio. And now I'm going to be showing you how to edit. I didn't include how to edit it because it was really long um, and I didn't want to like make it too long. So I'm just making a separate video. So to edit my animations, I always use iMovie. So if you have a Mac, um, iMovie is already installed. I'm not sure if it works on like on a PC or anything. But I know it is installable on all Apple devices, I'm pretty sure. So this person on the screen really wanted to know how I edited it, so now I'm gonna just show you how to edit it. So if you go into iMovie, there should be a little plus here that says create new. So just click onto that and then press movie. And then here is what it'll show up once you press create a movie. So now to get your um, animation in, You'll just want to press this little import media button and then if you have it saved to like your Macintosh HD or your desktop, you'll just want to do it from your desktop or you can do it from your Mac or anything, but I usually choose it from my desktop. I don't recommend you put it in a folder. I recommend you keep it like on the um, desktop, but I accidentally deleted the original clip, so I'm just going to be um putting it in through the other one i did so this is like the animation video right here where i did the animation so i just drag it on so this is what the original will look like the first thing i do is i always try to change like the color and everything so if you go up to here um you can see like i can make it really dark i can make it really bright i can just put it like that or i can make this really really like different colors so just play around with those once you have your colors just play your animation one more time to make sure it has everything that you wanted so now that you've colored it and everything like this um next thing you want to do is a blurred screenshot of the last frame so i just zoom in and then right there so I'm just gonna do command shift three and then there's the uh, screenshot. So I use an editing app that is actually downloadable inside the um, app store. It's called Photoscape X and it's basically like um, Photoshop. Just search up Photoscape X in your um, app store and then this should show up. Um, so you may be a cut out. So just go to editor and then just drag from your desktop onto here. So I go to tools to blur and I just press blur and I I'm usually make it pretty like hard. Now, as you can see, it's blurred now. You want to make sure that you get it everywhere, though. So press apply and then just save this and do command S to save it. And then it'll save the edited photo as a blur. And then you can exit out of Photoscape X and head back to iMovie. So I'm just going to import my screenshot by pressing the little import button and then clicking and press import selected. I'm going to bring it right here. And as you can see, uh, it does go from here to here. Another thing is doing is like it's zooming. So I'm going to go over to this crop tool and press crop to fill. So now if you play it over right there. So now before you add anything, you're going to want to have some music. So what I usually do is just go onto YouTube and search up like non-copyright music for my intros. And then I just screen record it on my phone and send it to my Mac through email. So pretty simple. So I'm just going to import the music right now. Okay, so I have my music. So I'm just going to do that and here it is. Okay, so as you can see, if you go to the very end, you can just trim it down by pulling it. So here we are. All right, so it's kind of holding still for this bit. So I'm going to trim that down. So as you can see, there's like a beat change. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to do command B and it kind of just like it splits the clip and then I'm going to select it by just clicking left clicking and I'm going to come up to this little tool and I'm going to change it to fast so now I can just cut this down and down here you can see that there's like it shows where the beat changes so that's where I want this to show up so I have it right here okay so that's good um so the next thing you want to do is add like your Instagram account and maybe some green screen overlays so in the last tutorial where I showed you the fully edited one I'm gonna show you an extra step so if you go into YouTube you can search up um, like heart green screen overlay that and then as you can see there's a ton of these uh, just find one that you like I might do this one I, I think I'm gonna do this first one so you're just gonna want to screen record um, the overlay so I'm just gonna screen record this so a way you can screen record without having to download a screen recorder so you'll just want to go to QuickTime player so go to your launch pad like this and search up QuickTime player when you click on a quick 
time player, you'll want to press cancel, and then come up to file and press new screen recording. Click anywhere, and then it's screen recording. So you just wanna press play on the green screen overlay. I'm gonna use these hearts, so it's screen recording. So then you just wanna click right here and it'll stop the screen recording, and it automatically saves it to your desktop. And once you're back to um, iMovie, just click the import button, and then it'll say screen recording, so you just wanna click on the screen recording, and press import. So you wanna come over here and then cut down the video. So I'm just cutting down the video to where the hearts actually show up. So this is where the hearts actually show up. I'm just gonna do command B, delete right here. So I'm going to go into this and I'm gonna press the cropping tool and I'm just going to crop out the rest of the stuff like my recommended stuff like what i want to watch next and stuff like that so i'm just gonna put it into that and as you can see it it's just that on top you want to select this and click onto this thing right here and click on the cutaway and do green slash blue screen and there you go another thing you can do is copy a clip or like a picture so like left click on a clip and then press right click and then go over to copy and copy it and then you can do command v and it just copies the clip. So I'm just going to actually drag this out to the very end and then I do command B and then it'll cut it down. So you cannot add two overlays sadly. So this is how you will make the end with your Instagram account and whatever like that. So you're gonna just do this. You're gonna wanna drag. So holding down on um, left and then just dragging like this and then doing copy again. Then going to projects and pressing create new. Once you create a new movie, you'll want to do command V and then it'll copy it in. Then what you want to do is come over to here, press file and then name it. I'm just going to name it gibberish because that's what I usually do. And then press next, save it to your desktop and press save. And then it just say importing my movie, whatever it is, was successful. Then you want to press close. Scroll into your desktop and it should be on your desktop. Then you can delete this. Then you will want to click the import button and import what you just saved and add it in by dragging and then it's there and then you can add more overlays over it which is what we want so instead of using um iMovies text i use canva.com so you want to press create a design and then use youtube video then you want to come down to text and i usually do add a subheading then i'm going to put in our channel name and up here you can see that there are fonts i use bulkary script i think that's how you say it and i'm going to color it so we're gonna come down to background. Then we're gonna want to do a solid one. So you wanna click onto this and then go down to green. As you can see, it's not exactly the same color as green screen. So I usually come over to new color and I make it a little brighter. Then I'm just going to download it. So you wanna click download and then press download right there. Then I press show in finder. Then here it is. And I'm just gonna take it down to my desktop. So once you go back to iMovie, you'll want to press the import and then click on the text you did on your desktop and then drag it on. Again, you just wanna come over to cut away and change it to green slash blue screen. As you can see, it's kind of moving. We don't want that, so we're just gonna press crop to fill again. So there we are. And then, I like to add another green screen overlay. So this green screen overlay is a subscribe one. So we're going to go back into um, YouTube and we're gonna search up green screen subscribe button. A ton of these will show up. I think I might do a pink one. There we are. So you'll just wanna go to the very beginning and then using QuickTime Player, again, you're gonna do our new screen recording. And now it's recording and we're just going to yeah, and there we are. Here we are. We're gonna stop the screen recording. Then we're gonna take the screen recording from our desktop, and then we're gonna slide over to iMovie. And then we'll just do Command B and cut out the end. So we're gonna select this again. We're gonna go over to this thing and we're just gonna press green slash blue screen one more time. This is optional, but if you have an Instagram account, then you will want to screen record yourself following it. So once you have screen recorded yourself following it, I'm actually gonna make this a bit longer 
pressing copy and we are just going to press um the, you can import it but i am just copying it this is the screen recording following our instagram account so we're gonna double click and you'll want to bring it like just to like the top of it like that so you're just pressing crop to fill and then it's like just at the top of it then you want to double click one more time you want to press picture in picture and then you can make it bigger as you can see it is at the dissolve one i usually do zoom and then i'm gonna um put it at like one second we'll see as you can see it's kind of like um a little too fast so i'm gonna press slow it's like it has our channel name the subscribe and then following our instagram account here we are and then i'm going to do command b again i'm gonna go a little of ahead and then delete the extra clip and then we don't really have to save this as a file we can just again copy it and add it into the other one so go back to your original one and delete this because i don't need that and then just do command v and you've copied in your everything else so you'll want to add some transitions so come over here and press transition and i like to do the cross zoom as you can see it's kind of showing this too early so you may be wondering how i got it to fade out because so you don't want to just like bring it to the end so if you come over here there's like this little like blue notch thing right there just bring it out and then it adds a fade and then i usually will do a fade to black transition at the very end so i'm going to um bring this a little bit more forward since it is kind of like cutting out the ending there we are so that's how i edited it and this is the final result of it <laughs> 